over the last 50 years on the Western Antarctic Peninsula, we have seen a very rapid increase in midwinter temperatures by roughly 12 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the major consequences of that increase in temperatures has been the near total loss of sea ice during the winter. Gentoo and Chinstrap penguins, they basically don't like sea ice and as a result are doing very well. Their populations, for example, in the last three decades are up by 11,000% for Gentoo penguins and about 300% for Chinstrap penguins. But on the other hand, Adelie penguins, the life history of Adelie penguins uh, is completely dependent on sea ice. That is absolutely essential habitat to them. Adelies breed on land, like most seabirds do, but after the breeding season, they depart and uh, they immediately seek sea ice as winter comes on. These Adelies ride the sea ice to the north because they don't fly. They don't fly like normal birds do. So sea ice sort of delivers Adelie penguins to these critical food resources during the winter time. In other words, ice is the platform from which these birds feed. In the absence of sea ice, without, without ice forming the way it used to, Adelies are not feeding very well during the winter, and as a result, they, they literally die of starvation. And their populations over the last three decades have plummeted by nearly 87%. To understand what has happened there, let me take you back 35 years ago, being the mid-1970s, when the islands on which we worked were totally and completely filled with breeding Adelie penguins, thousands and thousands of breeding pairs. So as we used to approach these islands on our boats, even from quite a distance away, you could hear just the roar of Adelie penguins going about their business of squabbling, fighting with each other, feeding chicks. It was just almost impossible to hear yourself think. And now, if you fast forward 35 years to the present, we approach the same islands in the same way that we always have. The first thing that uh, strikes you is that you cannot hear any birds at all. You can't hear any of their calls. It's just total silence. Uh, and the silence is complete. So all you hear is maybe the surf hitting uh, nearby rocks or the wind, always the wind. But the birds are gone and it is utterly and totally quiet. putting the science aside, I view it as a personal loss. When you see these birds year after year, you begin to recognize them as individuals. As time goes by, eventually these birds disappear. You walk by their colonies and you remember where they used to nest and you remember their what was peculiar about them. It's almost exactly like having a uh, an old friend sort of drop out of your life. And I knew these birds. Yeah, after a while you, you, you do miss some of these individuals. And it's a real sense of loss.